Hello everyone, it's me, the one I'm here, and welcome to my channel. Kind of smile a little bit. This is a very serious topic on McDonald's advertising, McDonald's advertising. Why are people so enticed by it, and why people love McDonald's? Why are they loving it to say, to to coin their phrase or to imitate their phrase? Why are people loving McDonald's when they should be loving it instead of loving it? Well, McDonald's are scientific marketeers, which means that they work on a particular formula. Every time you see a McDonald's advertisement, it's a different kind of advertisement. They classify them into different types. And every time you see one, it's a scientifically induced formula. They will test it on particular people and get people to watch their advertising and work out what has the most effect, what they remember the most, what they like the most, what appeals to them the most. So it's a very, very tried and tested formula. And there's no secret that once you get the formulas down pat, you market it to thousands, uh, sorry, millions and billions of people, and you will definitely get a massive amount of sales. That's what McDonald's do. They are very, very conscientious, conscious of the fact that, that they don't want to over market things. They will not market things overly, but they will still bombard their society with advertising. So that's how it works. I could go on and on about marketeering that McDonald's do and how they manage to manipulate their, their their um their consumers um so they always talk about being australian for example i'm australian um we 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 started in australia in maguna in 19 you know 1951 or something or 1961 or something like that um you know you you rocked up in bodies and thongs you were like really really slovenly and slack but we still invited you into our restaurant because we're, because we're such good people even though we just want to suck your bloody fucking money. Um, <sighs> I'm really up angry with them, that's why I'm venting like this, but um, every time you go to a McDonald's restaurant, it's pristine in so many ways. You have the, it's like you're walking into your own booty salon, you've got the cash registers, you've got the the signs, the, the attractive looking signs, you've got the um, Bloody, you can see into the kitchen, but you can't see what they're cooking, just in case they, they drop it on the floor, you can't see what's going on. Their toilets um, are cleaned regularly, but people still shit there because the, the food is so bad that you have to shit there. And people get diarrhea and stuff. They still shit on the toilets, and the toilets are cleaned regularly, I guess, but the, there's no guarantee of quality there. So please, please, if you can, avoid the toilets. They're just not talkable. Um... The, they think that they've got Wi-Fi connectivity there because it's very convenient. They want everything to be convenient. They've got the little toys which they give to, to little kids to entice them to come back more and more times. I um, mean, the little Happy Meals, which they, which they call Happy Meals, which are obviously not happy for the animals who are who are exploited and killed uh, for their meals. Um, don't know how many billions of uh, cattle and chickens and sheep and other things are killed for McDonald's meals every year. Um, they've got the play place. They have this little uh, playground where little kids who are really, really impressionable can have fun there and their parents love it because they've got nowhere else to bring their kids to have somewhere to be entertained. <sighs> they have the McCafe, which is like the, um, a place where you can buy coffee. Coffee is a much more sellable product in many ways because uh, it's not people reminding people of burgers all the time. People get sick of burgers all the time, but if you refresh their memory with the idea of coffee, coffee is so sustainable to just drink and drink it three times a day, four times a day. That will dra gra gradually suck up your money, but it will also bring, and it will also bring you back into their restaurants time and time again. And um, and you also buy a burger as well, which are now so fucking expensive. I don't know how they can manage to charge ten dollars for a burger and still get away with it. The people are still buying them, so. That's really, really terrible. <clears throat> um, so just going back to the advertising, they have different types of advertising. Um, they have advertising for a particular product. They've got advertising for their own reputation. A lot of their advertising is nostalgic, so they'll bring you back to a time when um, you know you had a really good time with them or something, had a birthday party with them or something. They cater for absolutely everything. You can't get away from them. And... Um, it's like 
you know, mixing your fries with your Sunday. You, you, you mixed your fries with your Sundays. It was like, it was like a pun they, they put in their latest advertisement. I mean, it's unbelievably stupid the way they advertise, but people still watch it. They still consume it like that. They think, oh my God, I'm, I'm hungry now. I'm hungry. I want to buy something from McDonald's now. So <clears throat> you can see how much I hate them. I mean, I absolutely hate McDonald's, but you can't get away from the advertising. Every time I turn on TikTok, I get another McDonald's ad, even though I've reported them countless times. I still get these people advertising for them. Not only the McDonald's advertise themselves, but people advertising secondarily for them for a competition or something under the hashtag, um, you know, McDonald's CC Sing or something. Uh, people will advertise for them, and that's how McDonald's get their exposure, just through normal people like you and me. Um, yeah. <sighs> Boy. I mean, they should bloody sell alcohol and shit, for goodness sake. I mean, people get drunk on the streets, and the whole world is so corrupt. There are no vegan, I mean, there are very few vegan options there, and you can't get a full vegan meal at McDonald's, which is very, very crafty of them. They will force you to buy their beef burgers, their, their Aussie beef burgers, and tell you that they're sporting local Aussie farmers and stuff like that. It's absolutely crazy. So please, 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 if you if you have any sense at all, just avoid McDonald's. But if you do want to go to McDonald's, do what they call a McSitting, which is when you bring your own food, your own plant-based food, sit inside the restaurant and eat there and consume the food at their tables and possibly do a protest, hold up a sign and saying watchdominion.com or don'twatch.org, something like that. But please, please, please do not patronize their restaurants avoid them at all costs because the food that they serve is completely unethical it's completely multinational corporations it's completely greedy and it's it's killing us there are beggars on the streets outside mcdonald's every single day who need to beg for a dollar while you go in and spend ten dollars at mcdonald's give the money to the beggar spend it at um the green edge a, a plant-based uh, grocery and, and bakery store. Just go somewhere else for goodness sake, but please do not buy from McDonald's. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it.